Hey everybody, it's Stefan again for ATUDS.com and in today's tutorial we are going to be creating interesting logo review project. So let's take a look at the preview. Okay, um, let's create a new composition uh, with 150, 150 size and call it custom particle. Uh, that's the composition where basically we are going to type all the letters from A to Z with the capital letters and size of 130. Let's center the letter here, make it also bold, and each letter will be one frame long. So let's trim this layer to be only one frame long, and basically just duplicate this layer, drag it over, and change it to B and repeat this section until you get all the letters in the alphabet. I'm going to pause the video to do this for you and then I'll come back. OK, I'm ready and now trim this comp to be long only 26 frames. So let's hit N on the keyboard to set the end of the work area and right click and trim comp to work area. And you can see, let's create a preview, the letters. Okay, so now let's change a bit these letters. Create a new adjustment layer on top of the all layers and apply a ramp effect. Generate ramp and set the top point just on the top of the letter and the bottom point just, of just to the bottom part of the A. And change this score to a bright grayish core or something like that and now let's add another effect come to effect core correction and use and choose Corama basically we are going to make all the letters look like they are made from metal or something like that so hit on the modify and uncheck the modify alpha checkbox and you can see when you when we add a colorama how we get this sharp edge on the letter so unchecking modify alpha solves this problem and come to output cycle and use the golden one preset and after that we are going to add another effect come to perspective and use bevel alpha and this effect makes the letters look more like uh, 3D letters and just increase the edge thickness a bit and I leave it like that now add another effect come to effect color correction tint to make it black and white uh, close this down and come to effect color correction again and choose curves now we are going to use a very interesting technique to make this look uh, really shiny 3D metal 
chrome looking letters so drag this point up here create a point right here and drag it down like so and click here to create another point and drag it up like so and again create another point drag it down maybe here and again create another point here and drag this point to the bottom and you can see how easily we get this nice metal shiny looking letters so close this down you can colorize the letters if you want by adding a colorizing filter but in this case I'll leave it just like that and it's time to create our main composition so come to composition new composition and choose the HDTV preset right here at the bottom and make it 20 seconds long and let's name it characters animation and hit OK. Come to the project panel and drag our custom particle composition here and turn it off. Now create new solid layer black and call it fractal noise and hit OK and come to effect noise and grain fractal noise um, let's change some of the parameters here fractal noise type we're going to change the noise type from soft linear to spline and increase the contrast and decrease the brightness maybe or more Eight, 26 5 ok let's drop the resolution down to half to work faster and increase the complexity of the noise to the maximum which is 20 and come to transform uncheck the checkbox for uniform scaling and scale it like so yeah I think this looks good and the only thing we are going to do for the fractal noise is to make it evolves so hold down out and click to evolution stopwatch and type a very simple expression I think that everybody know this expression so let's type it just real quick time multiplied by 150 and click away and this makes our fractal noise evolving like so and the only thing we are going to do for the fractal noise layer is to animate its opacity so come to the two seconds mark right here hit T to review the opacity property click the stopwatch and set the opacity to zero and come to the four second mark and make the opacity a hundred percent and that's it we are ready with our fractal noise layer now let's collapse this and create another solid layer new solid and call it lens flare now let's add the lens flare effect come to effect generate lens flare you can use the no white factory lens flares but for this tutorial I'm going to use the built-in lens flares in After Effects and change the flare brightness just a bit 
like so and tint the lens flare come to effect color correction tint and add another adjustment come to effect color correction curves just to increase the contrast of this lens flare like so crush the white areas and finally add the effect blur and sharpen fast blur and set the blurriness to 100 click the repeat edge pixels checkbox and collapse all these parameters and set the lens flare just a bit below the center of the composition like so and close this and use this layer with the lens flare as a luma mat for the fractal noise layer so basically where you see the lens flare it reveals the fractal noise and we do this just to make the white in the beginning more random so again create a new solid black core and call it lens flare one and hit ok and at our effect come to effect generate um, lens flare but before we continue with this layer here come back to the previous lens flare layer hit T to review the opacity and come to the 4 seconds mark set a keyframe for opacity come to 6 seconds mark and set another keyframe for opacity this time at 45% and come to the 8 second mark and set another keyframe for 45% opacity and then come to 10 second mark set the opacity to 65% and then come to 11 seconds mark and set the opacity to 0 basically this will make the fractal noise layer more visible at the beginning where we have this strong white here and later it will fade out very smoothly and again we want the fractal noise to be more visible at this point at the 10 second mark so let's back to our characters animation composition turn on the lens flare run layer and let's start make some changes here first of all let's place it uh, right below the center of the comp which is right here and then add a tint effect to make it black and white and then at another adjustment, a curves adjustment and increase the contrast just a bit and we are going to colorize this lens flare in a blue color like so okay and finally add a fast blur effect and set the blur to 200 that looks ok and now let's change the blend mode to add and collapse this part with the blending modes and hit F4 to toggle between switches and modes so set the lens flare run layer to add and let's animate the flare brightness and flare opacity so come to the 
one second mark I'll just zoom the timeline come to the one second mark and set a keyframe for flare brightness and set the flare brightness to zero now come to one second and seven frames and set the flare brightness to 90 and then come to one second and 17 frames 10 frames forward and set the flare brightness to zero again and then come to two seconds and 10 frames and set the flare brightness to 100 and basically we want a strong white at the beginning like a blinking white and then it disappears for a second and again you can see the white from the center so leave the flare brightness like so and let's animate the opacity of the layer come to the 8 second mark hit T to review the opacity of the lens flare set a keyframe and set it to 30% and come to the 10 second mark and set the opacity to 55% and come to the 11 second mark set it to 0 so basically that's the basic animation of the lens flare and now let's create another layer with a lens flare just duplicate this layer come to edit duplicate and put it below our lens flare no layer call it lens flare 2 set the transfer mode to screen let's animate some of the parameters here just leave the flare brightness animation like so but increase the flare brightness at the 2 second and 10 frames mark to 125 and animate the fast blur effect set a keyframe for the fast blur at the 1 second and 7 frames mark set a keyframe set it to 100 and come to 2 seconds and 10 frames mark and set the fast blur to something like so come to the 4 seconds mark and set a keyframe for opacity so click on the stopwatch to delete all the keyframes set a keyframe for opacity and set it to 50% come to the 6 seconds mark set the opacity to 45% and come to the 8 second mark and just set a keyframe again for 45% opacity and come to the 10 second mark set the opacity to 70% come to the 11 second mark and set the opacity to 0 so that was a bit tedious about creating all these lens flares and fractal noise and custom particles etc but we are done with this animation so we can now start with the fun part of the tutorial making some particles flying around let's create another solid and call it big part and hit OK. Let's add effect trap code particular and so this layer and you can see just the basic sphere particles emitting from the center and open the emitter section and let's change some values here first of all change the direction from uniform to directional and change the Y rotation to 
180 degrees so the particles come towards the camera then change the Z position to 5000 to make the particles really far away from the camera and let's animate some of the parameters here let's come to the 3 second mark and set a keyframe about the velocity of the particles and set the velocity to 3500 which is a very strong velocity as you can see hit U to review the keyframes and come to the 4 second mark and change the velocity to 0 and come to the 6 seconds mark set a keyframe about particles per second and 10 frames forward set the particles to 0 so we stop emitting particles at the 6 seconds let's change the other parameters like come to particle part and here we will change the particle type from sphere to textured polygon and we use textured polygon because if we used a sprite particle and choose the texture for the sprite particle and pick a random steel frame and increase the size of the particles you can see the particles how they look and behave and when we change this to textured polygon and we can adjust the rotation of the particles so they look different as you can see here and that's what we going for so let's reset all the settings here set the life of the particles to 15 seconds and time sampling random steel frame that basically picks a random steel frame from the decomposition and that makes all the particles to be different now let's change some of the rotation values here rotation x set it to 30 maybe rotation y set it to 60 and rotation z set it to 25 maybe and random rotation 100 I think this looks fine and just random speed set it to 0.5 just to give it a little bit of random speed size set the size to 100 to see the letters a bit better size random 20 and size over wife we are going to use the this preset here and just drag like so and opacity over wife again the same just copy this and paste it I think that's it for the particles section now let's come to the physics set the air resistance to 1 and check the air resistance rotation checkbox so air resistance affects the rotation of the letters let's change the spin frequency to 0 and fade in spin 0 and increase the wind Z to minus 3500 so it 
pushes the particles from the center towards the camera. Come to the 4 second mark and set a keyframe about wind Z and come to the 6 seconds mark and set a keyframe for wind Z to 0 so it stops pushing the letters hit U to review all the keyframes and make the second keyframe of the wind is ease right click keyframe assistant is ease or hit F9 and basically that will do the trick because all the velocity and wind Z stop at the 6 seconds point and the particles are just flowing and smoothly stopping and freezing in the air and then we come to the 7 seconds and 10 frames and set a keyframe for wind Z and set it to 0 and come to the 8 seconds and 10 frames and send the wind Z to 10,000 so basically that will push the particles back and they will collapse into the light and form the logo so basically that's the key to get this animation done another thing we are going to change here is the turbulence field so come to turbulence field set a keyframe at 6 seconds for the turbulence field effect position and come to the 8 seconds mark and set the effect position to 800 so we get a little bit of random movement when the particles start to collapse just change a few of the settings here scale to 0.5 to get a very subtle and smooth movement of the letters change the complexity to 1 and increase the octave multiplier to 10 set the octave scale to 0 and evolution speed say to 0.1 because we are going for a very slow and smooth movement of the letters I think that's it for the turbulence field tab so let's close the physics tab and let's animate the opacity of this layer come to 1 second and 14 frames exactly and swipe the layer so the particle start to emit at this point and set a keyframe for opacity hold down shift and hit T to review the opacity property set it to 0 come to 1 second and 24 frames 10 frames forward and set the opacity to 100% and then come to 9 seconds and 20 frames set a keyframe for opacity and come to 10 seconds and 10 frames and set the opacity to 0 I think just I messed up the opacity here just make it to the 11 second they disappear like so yeah I think that they should disappear when they almost collapse and you can't see the fade because we have a very strong white here at the end as you can see and let's get back to our characters animation composition and 
swaps this layer and we are going to duplicate it to create the another particles but before we do that let's create a new white come to layer new white and hit ok we created this white because we are going to use the shading options of the particular version 2 so select the white hit AA hold down shift and hit P to review the position and white options and shadow diffusion 25 pixels is ok cast shadows on intensity 100 maybe just brighten up the color a tiny bit and white options point white is ok and change the position of this white to uh, 1500 and 500 and negative 500 to push it back and just duplicate this white hit P to review the position and move it over at this side and maybe like so and leave that at 500 and this at negative 500 and duplicate this white hit P to review the position and set this to be at the center of the comp like so and move it to the bottom part of the composition and leave it like so and duplicate it again hit P to review the position and this time move it up like so and duplicate it again for the last time and hit P to review the position just make it right in the center of the composition and far away from us so basically we have one white let's come to the custom view we have one white here which is which is in front the particles not behind them and far away from the camera and four whites which surround all the particles and white up them so let's collapse all the whites come to the particles layer and for this white just hit T to review the intensity and increase it just a bit and come to this particle layer come to shading and turn it on and change the white fall off from natural wax to AE white set the ambient white to 100 set the diffuse to 50 specular amount to 25 maybe and specular sharpness to 50 and I think that's what we are going for as you can see some of the letters are white up more some of them are fade, fade in the dark so basically that's the effect we are going for let's make this white shy and hide them and select this layer and come to edit duplicate to duplicate it and rename it medium particles and we are going to change some of the settings here so the first thing we are going to change is the number of particles hit U to review the keyframes and increase the number of particles from 100 to 300 direction spread set it to 25 
and leave the rest like it is and come to the particle section change the rotation of the particles to make them look different and random uh, rotate x 50 rotate y 20 and rotate z let's say 80 random rotation 100 and let's change the size of the particles let's make it 35 and size random make it 40 and come down to the bottom world transform and rotate the Z rotation to negative 45 degrees so basically this rotates the whole world of particular and we rotate the particles so they look at different position not in the same position as the main particles as you can see here so make it negative 45 and that's it for this layer just come to one second and seven frames and shift this layer here so the small particles they come first just seven frames early and then we have the big particles so turn off this layer and duplicate the medium particles layer come to edit duplicate turn off this layer and rename these small particles and what we are going to change here is again the number of particles hit U to review all the keyframes and increase the number of particles to 1500 which is a wall of particles and come to particle and again change the rotation of the particles rotate X let's say 120 rotate Y let's say 45 and rotate Z 15 and come to the size and set the size of the particles to 10 and size random to 20 and let's see come to the transform world and Z rotation change it to 90 degrees so we have a different position for each of the particle layers as you can see it takes a bit to render because we have a lot of particles in this composition and change the transfer mode of the three layers for the particles to add turn on the motion blur for the composition and turn on the motion blur for the particles I am going to pre-render these particles because it will take forever to render all these particles with motion blur so I'm going to pre-render the particles and hopefully see you in the next part the second part of this tutorial because this part came out longer than I expected so see you in part 2